Welcome to Learning with Mo. Well, this is part two of our attempt here to run Windows inside of a Linux distribution. I'll go ahead and I'm running elementary OS. I'll click on the applications here. Now in the first video, we installed boxes and we're able to install Windows 10. So now when I launch boxes, here's Windows 10. I'll go ahead and click on it. And we can see it's already kind of launching up here for me pretty quick. I'm using a solid state drive, so it's pretty quick here. Now, while it's loading, we can see that loaded pretty quickly here. If I click on the preferences tab, just like with other virtualization softwares, I can go ahead and you know, allocate more memory or more CPUs, and I can increase the storage limit if I want to. Down here, just some troubleshooting logs and I can edit the configuration. Here are devices and folder shares that I can kind of set up. But for now, I'll just go ahead and log in and I'll dive right in here. So here we go. And there we go. So here's Windows 10. You can see I went ahead and installed Google Chrome and I also installed Microsoft Edge here. Well, let me go ahead and maximize this here. So you can see that's maximized, but it's not really maximized. I'll go ahead and right click, just go to the display settings. And I'll go ahead and scroll down to advanced display settings. And I'll change this to, to 1080. Let's see what this looks like here. I'll go ahead and keep the changes. And that is pretty cool because this is a true 1080 experience. Unlike VirtualBox, it's a little clunky to try to, you know, just resize the screen. You have to insert the guest editions. But we can see this is pretty, pretty nice here. All right. So I already have everything that I need. All right. Well, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and pin this to the taskbar. I'll fire up uh, Chrome here. I don't over to YouTube. Let's see how video plays in here. And let's see if I can find my channel here really quickly. A lot of others in here, not what I'm looking for. All right, so here's my channel. Now let's run this video. Let's see what this sounds like here. Welcome to Learn With Mom. Well, in this video, we can do something a little different. Oh, pretty nice. We can see there's no, no glitches here. It's running pretty, pretty smooth. I did not have to set up any, you know, 3D acceleration just works really well right out of the box. So pretty, pretty nice. All right, excellent. I'll go ahead and pause this video here. I'll go ahead and open up another tab. And uh, let's see. We'll do a quick speed test here. Okay, so not bad. I got 99. Right, so 99 is pretty good. I'm actually getting on my host system about 400. So I'm getting 99 here. It's using the um, the network cable, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, well, so far so good. As you can see, everything is working pretty nice. No glitches. If I click on the start menu here, everything is just kind of up and running for me. Let's see, I'll go ahead and I'll click on the settings. Let's see what else I can get in here. So running pretty, pretty nice. Very, very nice. Did not have to do anything else special. Everything is just working pretty, pretty nice here. I'll go ahead here. Here's the display. We were here just a little bit earlier. I'll click on about and let's see what it's actually picking up here. So it's actually picking up. Okay, so it's picking up my processor. Pretty, pretty nice. I'll click on system info. Get a little more detail here. All right, here we go. So we've got, let's click on the device manager. Let's see what type of, um, let's see what type of display adapter it's using here. Okay, so it's using the Microsoft basic display adapter. That's perfectly fine. Pretty old school uh, driver here, but it's working pretty, pretty well. 
right? No glitches. I'm running fine and I am good to go. So pretty, pretty nice. Now, if I move my, my cursor to the top of the screen, now I can see that the pane has been displayed here. So if I want to go ahead and, and exit full screen mode here, I can do that. So pretty, pretty nice. Really, really like this. Again, I've been running virtual systems for, for several years, whether it's VMware or VirtualBox. No boxes is pretty, pretty nice. So now I can run Windows inside of my Linux distribution. I get the best of both worlds and I am good to go. So go ahead and install boxes for Linux. Go ahead and run either a Windows operating system. Just make sure you have the ISO or you can go ahead and um, have boxes just download another existing Linux distribution for you.